Okay, so let's have now the part 2 of our equations that becomes quadratic. So let's have the first example. So we have the open quantity of x squared minus 5, close quantity squared, minus quantity of x squared minus 5, close quantity minus 6 is equal to 0. So if you have noticed, there is common between the first and the second term. And so we are going to have let u be equal to the common. So this is x squared minus 5. And we are going to substitute this to our first and second term. So instead of writing x squared minus 5, we are going to write u. And we copy the exponent 2. The same thing on the second term. So we have minus u copy minus 6 is equal to 0. So here, we are trying to make our equation simple. So this is now the equation written in standard form. And we are going to solve this using any method that you are comfortable with. So here, I will be using factoring method. So the factors of our equation here are u minus 3 and u plus 2 is equal to 0. Equate the first factor to 0. Equate also the second factor to 0. So the values of our u are u is equal to 3 and u is equal to negative 2. But this is not yet the solutions of your equation. But we are going to use the u in order for us to solve for the values of our x. So now, if u is equal to 3, we are going to substitute this to let u be equal to x squared minus 5. Again, u there is equal to 3. We copy x squared minus 5. Transpose the negative 5 so that would become 3 plus 5. So that is 8 is equal to x squared. We get the square root of both sides. Square root of 8, that is positive and negative 2 square root of 2. And square root of x squared, that is equal to x. Now next is if u is equal to negative 2. So the same let u is equal to x squared minus 5. Substitute this to our u. Negative 2 copy x squared minus 5. So negative 2 plus 5 that is 3 is equal to x squared. We get the square root of both sides. So since we cannot extract square root of 3, we are going to leave it as positive and negative square root of 3. And square root of x, that is equivalent to x. Now, we have here four values of our root. So we have 2 square root of 2, negative 2 square root of 2, x is equal to square root of 3, and x is equal to negative square root of 3. So if you have noticed, we have four values of x since the degree of our first example is in the degree of 4. So therefore, it also follows that we have four values of x. Now let's have the second example. So quantity of x squared minus 6, close quantity squared minus 5, close quantity x squared minus 6, close quantity plus 6 is equal to 0. The same process, so we have to let u be equal to the common which is x squared minus 6. So we are going to substitute this to our equation. So x squared minus 6, this is equivalent to u and we copy the exponent. Now, this is again equivalent to u, so therefore, it's minus 5u plus 6 is equal to 0. So, this is now the equation and solve this using any method that you are comfortable with. So, here again, I will be solving this using factoring method. So, the factors are u minus 3 and u minus 2 is equal to 0. Equate the first factor to 0. Equate also the second factor to 0. So the values of your u here are 3 and u is equal to positive 2. Again, use for the values of your u to solve for the values of your x. So we have, so if u is equal to 3, so u is equal to x squared minus 6, substitute. So your u here is equal to 3, then copy x squared minus 6. So 3 transpose the negative 6, that would become 9 is equal to x squared. We get the square root of both sides. Square root of 9, that is positive and negative 3. And square root of x squared, that is equivalent to x. Now, if u is equal to 2, 
So the same equation substitute. So we have 2 is equal to x squared minus 6. So 2 plus 6 that is 8 is equal to x squared. We get the square root of both sides. Square root of 8 that is positive and negative 2. Square root of 2 is equal. Square root of x squared that is equivalent to x. So here the values of your x are 3, negative 3, 2 square root of 2 and negative 2 square root of 2. Again, we have here four values of x since our equation is in the degree of 4. So that's all for today. Thank you so much. I hope you've learned something.